Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all on this hump day, on this Wednesday morning. Today is Wednesday, September the 4th. It's hump day. We in the middle of the week. But yeah, I just want to do, because I know like whenever I put out a new song, I do a behind the lyrics video breaking down the lyrics with y'all. But in this video... I'm going to do a behind the creation process of how I write my songs, of how I start off writing my songs, how I usually gain inspiration. But yeah, th this is a video of behind the creation process of my songwriting process, because I know like there is some of you out there that really do enjoy my music and you probably been wondering how does the creation process go of how I make my music, how I write my songs. Do 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 I do I pick out the beat first or do I write the song first? But here's a behind the creation process video of how I write my songs. First off, when it comes down to me like getting some inspiration to write some lyrics, to write some rhymes, to come up with the title of the song and the lyrics. I start off by just vibing to some music. You know what I mean? I listen to my favorite songs. I, I listen to my favorite joints. You know what I mean? I'll either like listen to the song on YouTube. I'll either listen to the song on um Spotify. Sometimes I'll go on Pandora. But yeah, vi vibing to some music is how I gain inspiration. There'll be times where I don't even want to, like, listen to the lyrics of the song. Sometimes I just want to listen to the music. I just want to listen to the instrumental, the beat of the song. That's it. I don't want to, like, listen to the lyrics all the time. But that's pretty much how I gain inspiration. And as soon as I, like, gain inspiration, as soon as, like, the lyrics come up in my head, I get to writing. And that's another thing, too. This this could be a tip for you up and coming rappers out there when it comes down to like writing music, writing your raps, writing your songs. When you start to come up with the lyrics in your head, don't wait, don't wait, because when you wait, you're going to end up forgetting about it. It's going to go away as soon as that inspiration hits you, as soon as you get those lyrics in your brain. You got to write them down. You got to write them down on paper right now because when you're waiting, you're going to end up forgetting. But yeah, but yeah, I always like to have me some music playing like I put on my my wireless beats headphones and I just vibe. You know, what I mean, I, I, I vibe when I'm writing and sometimes I be well, well, not sometimes, a lot of times when I'm vibing, I have to stand up, I have to move around and stuff. I gotta, you know, like, you know, like when I'm, when I'm in my creation process, but other than that, that that's pretty much how I write my songs. I usually start off by writing the title first and then I write the lyrics and usually I write the song first and then I, like, find out what type of, like, beat I want to use. But, yeah, that's pretty much how the creation process usually goes. And are there any times where I may cross out some lines when I'm writing? Yes, there be times where I may cross out some some lyrics in the song if I don't really like the way it goes or if I don't really like the way it sounds or if I could have like rhymed it better or maybe if I could have put the word together a little better, a little better. Yeah, a little <laughs> having a tongue twister a little better, but yeah, that's pretty much how my creation process usually goes. Yeah, that's that's usually how I write my songs. But yeah, I, I know some of y'all like been wondering how do I write my songs? Because like I said before, I don't have a ghost writer. I don't have a ghost writer. I never did. I've been writing my own raps ever since I first started rapping. And I still write my own raps to this day. And yeah, in the music industry, when it comes down to mainstream, like like a lot of like like songs, a lot, you know, I mean, there there are rappers because the like I said before, the difference between Easy E and Drake 
Easy E didn't even want to be a rapper. Easy E even stated in an interview that he never even intended to rap. But you see with Drake, Drake wanted to be a rapper. But you see Drake, he can't really be considered a lyricist because he has a ghostwriter. And just like with Easy E, they say that he's the godfather of gangster rap. But, you know, I mean, you can't. I mean, you can't really say that Easy e is a lyricist because of the fact that he had ghost writers, but that's the thing. Easy e yeah, I mean, Easy e deserves the title Godfather of Gangster Rap because he, he, he didn't, he didn't want to be a rapper at first, but yeah, but yeah, I mean, that, that's the behind the creation process of how I write my songs. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video, love y'all.